Hey guys! Stay with the fight. Just finished up my workout. I'm sorry I did not vlog before the workout started. Um, just having a busy morning. But I literally, as you've seen, just finished my workout. I did Combat 60 Extreme Cardio Fighter. <sighs> really, really good, as you can tell by the sweat on my face. Awesome, awesome workout. God, I love these workouts so much. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I didn't have to modify that much. I mean, other than keeping my plyometrics down, like no jumping or anything like that, and no, uh, um, basically just no jumping, really. Other than that, I did really, really good. Ab, they on the 60-minute ones, they add some ab work in at the end, so I modified that a little bit, but I still managed to get it done, which was nice. So I'm a little out of breath at the moment, I'm still recovering a bit. But it was really, really good. I'm glad that's done and over with for the day since I didn't get it in yesterday. I'm averaging about three workouts in a week, which is, it's fine, at least I'm doing something, but it's not my average. Um, so I just, I have not had the chance to sit down and really look at what I'm gonna do for the next couple of months or what I'd ideally like to do and still play it, you know, day by day. Um, I think I'm probably going to keep combat in for a while because I'm not sick of it yet. So I think that's going to be my main cardio for a little bit. And, uh, I don't know. I'm tired. How you doing, Joby? Let's get a daily Job in. Hey, buddy. Every time I work out, he knows I work out because he runs upstairs and he hides away. And he, he has this instinct to know when the workout is in its cool down because all of a sudden he'll appear at the top of the stairs and he'll just watch. Every once in a while his hunger takes hold of him while I'm working now and he'll be very brave and he'll come downstairs and he'll wait for a time when he thinks that I won't be able to get at him because for a, some apparent reason he thinks I'm just going to constantly try and grab him and he'll run past me to his food dish. <laughs> but he was a good boy, weren't you buddy? You're a good boy. Um, so today is a big day. Uh, when Alan gets up, he was up till late last night. Um, because he had to work late. But we are going to get our Christmas tree today. I'm so excited. We don't do anything fancy. We don't go to, like, a Christmas tree place. We like to, but it's, we don't have a car, so... Um, we kind of have to make do with what we've got. And there is a convenience store uh, uh, several blocks down the street that sells Christmas trees. So we've been going over there for the last couple of years to get our tree. So we're actually going to do that today because he doesn't have to be into work until about 4 o'clock. So we're going to do that today so that we can let it spend a couple of days uh, falling. And on, it should be ready for Sunday to decorate because that's when he has the day off. So we'll be able to decorate and get the rest of the house, decorate the tree and get the lights up on the house. So very excited to pick out our tree this year. I've never had, hey buddy, I've never had a, a real tree before until I moved in with Alan. Actually, that's not true. I think, I think I have a memory of when I was younger. I think my brother won a real Christmas tree. I think, mom, you can let me know. <laughs> I think we won one, uh, one, one, one year. <laughs> it's a lot of ones. And uh, my parent, my mom never really liked Christmas trees. I think it's just because we had carpeting and getting the needles on the carpet. It's really hard to get out. I mean, we still find dried up needles and we don't even have carpet. And we actually put it down here in the basement because there's not enough room up here. That being said, with the second floor coming um, in 2014, Hopefully this will be the last year that we have um, our big Christmas down here and next year we'll be able to bring it upstairs. So very excited about that. And, uh, but I like having the real Christmas tree. I'm not a huge fan of the pine smell, but I, I really like having it and having hardwood floors. It's act and as long as you keep it uh, moist, like you keep filling the base of it, it actually, there's not a lot of needles that fall to the ground it's not it's usually at the beginning and at the very end when you're bringing it in and taking it out that there's the majority of needles but I can understand if you have carpeting that's gonna be a pain in the butt because vacuums don't get that doesn't get um, needles up very well 
So anyway, that's the plan for today. I'm gonna go have my shake, I'm gonna go have a shower, and I'm gonna get changed and feel like a human being. Bye. So we got our tree. This is our tree here. It's a six to seven foot. I felt awkward talking in front of somebody walking by. But the six to seven foot last year, I think we just got like a five and a half. And it was way too short, so we're going bigger this year. Bigger and better. And it's a balsam fir, whatever that. I don't know the difference between them. But I'm so excited we got our tree. We got our tree. Yeah. You did it. We did it. Yes. Christmas is saved. <laughs> All right. Ooh, this guy's cutie. He's a little guy. Next year. No. Second floor tree. No, this will be downstairs. This is the, the third tree. And we'll get a big one to go upstairs in the living room. Okay. Because we don't, we don't. We'll have room to have a tree upstairs now. I'm getting out of here before we spend more money. Let's get another one. Ah. <laughs> We've got the tree inside the house. I've got festive gloves on. Yep. Hawking gloves. What are they called? Fluffing gloves? That's what they Fluff call it. I'm not fluffing anyone. Well, we're fluffing the tree. <laughs> <laughs> I, I found out that trimming the tree just means to decorate the tree in the States. Yeah. I've never heard of that before until this year. Really? Yeah. I've heard I, the phrase. Really? I just call, I, to me, trimming the tree literally means to cut the tree. I'm sure that's the etymology behind it. It's like, in days of yore, they just like, trim the tree up and... Like, Put candles on it. Yeah. And burn the city down. <laughs> I don't know, here we just call it decorating the tree. It makes more sense to me. <laughs> anyway, we're about to let the tree fall for a bit to see exactly where it's gonna fall. And then what we have to do, because we decided to get a larger tree this year, a cl close to seven feet, but our base is only made for like, what, five feet? It's for a little guy. Or six, yeah. just. But regardless, even though it is a, I gotta turn this down. Um, what is this anyway? For Reed Hawk. Um, sorry. Okay, let's go a little Cajun. Um, that's better than the other guy. Um, the thing is, is Job is actually really good with the tree. No, you know what? This happened before we got Job that I was working down here and twice I, I felt something soft fluff down and I looked behind me and the tree had fallen over Ooh. once on its own and once when it had decorations on it. <laughs> so what we decided to do is be very responsible. This cupboard is a actually houses our fuse box. <laughs> what we do is we attach a ribbon to those knobs and attach it to the tree. Very responsible and adult of us. Yep. We're but having a, we're having a kid. But it has never fallen over since. Yeah. So that's we're not what attaching it directly to the fuses, just the knobs on the cabinet. Well, yeah, and the fuse box is actually quite safe. Yeah. But it just always makes me laugh that we're safe. attaching a pine tree or a balsam fir to a fuse box. Um, anyway. I like it. It's the tallest tree I think I've ever had. Well, my parents had an artificial tree, but for a real tree, it's a little dry down there. I'm hoping that once, they've only had these trees on the lot, the lot, i.e. convenience store <laughs> lot, for a week, but we don't know how long it's been since they cut it down. But hopefully once we, we put water in it, it, yeah, by Saturday when we want to decorate it, it shouldn't be too bad. Um, we have the technology. We do. And we're, even though we have a cat, so far he's been really good. Last year, only twice I think did I find a decoration on the floor. His big thing was, and oh my gosh, but is it, was it ever cute? And I think we might still have video of it somewhere. When he was a kitten, we got him when he was five months old and that was in November. So he was just over six months old when we got him. <laughs> and we had a little gold tree skirt that we put on the floor. Turns out Job's a little tr little skirt chaser. And he'll he would run and launch himself onto the onto the skirt and zoom himself around the tree. He was so cute. 
So we're really hoping Hopefully he does it again because it it, it is honestly the cutest thing. Um, but he doesn't like jump into the tree or anything. But that was, of course, just one Christmas. He's a bit, he's a little braver now. Um, His bravery level is at like ten percent of normal cats now, which is huge for him. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see what happens uh, tonight. Right now, he is scared for his life. We brought this in and he was up under the bed and I went up to grab our gift, the gift wrap, wrapping container we keep under the bed. I thought we had ribbon so we Whoa. could attach the tree. You should come down here and watch this. Uh oh, what do we do? Pretty epic. Yeah, just watch them. Uh -oh. each one. Whoa. Oh, that's so dry. Oh my gosh. You're watching it here first. Uh, if it if it knocks us out, <laughs> please send help. <laughs> Hopefully your camera uploads this on its own. <laughs> they do have cameras that can, well, they don't upload on their own, but it's really dry. I guess if that's... Oh, oh watch we're out. getting there. Smack gonna... us in the head. You guys ready? This better be epic. Uh, it was more just those threads oh. coming off. I think it's going to stay like this for a little while. Well, that was excitement, folks. Oh my gosh. Ta -da. <laughs> it's really Perfect dry underneath. Yep. Well, it hasn't been fed in a while. Yeah. I'll put lots of, it's going to drink a lot of water in the next yeah. day or two, so I'll just keep at it throughout the day. Oh. We cut those. Oh, we did? Oh, we cut those too? <laughs> yeah. So this is our tree now. Everything just fell on the floor. Pretty we did, we did a, Yeah, oh, for the top of the, um, the cabinet in the bathroom. It looked so pretty last year. Uh, we did a pre trim. Actually, you did a really good job, babe. Thank you. That just, just, just like one or two spots, but that's pretty good. Thank you. Well, so I think this is going to be a pretty full tree. Yeah. But again, once if these come down, any we probably have to get some of these smaller ones off. Yeah. Well, and then we have to twist it to see where the fullest part comes out, so we can decorate it. Yeah. Anyway, so that's the exciting part. Five minutes, forty-two seconds of us <laughs> talking about a Christmas tree. Excitement. It's pretty late and I'm just chillaxing a bit. Alan's off at work and so I'm just having e I'm having a nice evening lying on the couch. <laughs> I normally don't sit here and just lie on the couch all night long. Um just feels weird to me, but um I just kind of needed to. Energy's a little low today, and once we got the tree up and stuff, all of a sudden I was just pooped, absolutely pooped. I think my I'm just going through a growth spurt in my belly. I don't know what's going on, but a little sleepy tonight. But look, look at the tree. It's really come a long way since just like it's been a couple of hours. God, it won't even focus. It's so silly. This camera was such was like. Top of the line when we bought it a couple years ago, and now it won't even focus. Um, and I don't think I can focus it. No, that's just if I want to take photos. Um, sorry, learning as I go. Anyway, yeah, it's only been a couple of hours since we put that tree up, and already it's it's uh, fallen really nicely. And it's it's so hard to tell with the trees that you buy that are already netted up. You you never know what you're gonna get. But I'm so happy with that tree. It's gonna look so pretty when we get it all up. Oh, it's gonna look beautiful. But I've been down here because I've been waiting for Job to come down and check the tree out. But he's been like so terrified. He had no idea what was happening. That he's been upstairs sleeping on the chair the entire afternoon. He hasn't come down at all. At all. So I don't know. I want to see what what his reaction is and, and compare it to how he was last year. He was so good last year, but I'm just I'm just so pleased with it. It's so pretty. I'm so excited. Anyway, so yeah, I'm about to. I don't know. I'm gonna watch something on Netflix. I think, or I might go upstairs and read a book. If I read a book, I'm gonna fall asleep though, so I don't want to go to sleep too early. But. It's, it's just been a pretty chill day other than us getting the tree and, you know, Alan is doing a, a weird shift. He's not doing a closing shift. He's off at 11, so I may or may not stay up until then. We'll see. I have a feeling I won't. He's not expecting me to stay up. <laughs> so, 
And tomorrow, there's not too much going on tomorrow except that even though Alan works until close and his mom had her birthday last week, her brother wants to take her out, her and the family out for dinner. So I've been kind of itching to get out and, you know, be with people. So I, it'll be nice to get, you know, slightly gussied up <laughs> and, uh, and, and go out and talk to some human beings other than my husband and my cat for a little while. So I'm going to do that tomorrow and then Sunday we are going to finish doing the Christmas decorations and then we may or may not go catch the Hunger Games. I've been dying to see the new one. We just haven't had the time. But I kind of also just want to like de finish decorating the house and get wrap the presents and watch Christmas mu movies and have a cuddly night in. So we'll see what wins out. But anyway, I wanted to um, sign off with you guys for this evening. <sighs> Just getting more and more tired. <laughs> we should have some tea or something. I don't know. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, that's what I was gonna mention. Remember a couple of uh, a couple of weeks ago when I went to the baby show and I told I told you guys I was using the Palmer's stretch mark cream for no other reason other than I really like the smell and I like the cream. Uh, I can tell you right here now, it doesn't work for stretch marks. <laughs> I'm so upset. I was really hoping that my body would just reuse the stretch marks I've already had. No. Nope. My poor tummy. It's such a mess. It's what I get. You know, I've been overweight since I was a little girl and I've never known life without stretch marks. So to me, it's not a big deal. But I was kind of hoping that I wouldn't have to get more. But hopefully they won't stick around. They shouldn't stick around as long as, as the ones I've had for a while. But I just wanted to let you know. Um, I just think it's so funny that they have all these creams for stretch marks. Stretch marks don't happen because your skin is dry. They happen because your skin stretches. So while you think a cream would get rid of that, I'm not entirely certain. Anyway, just wanted to share that wonderful news with you all. <laughs> Alright guys, have a great evening. I will chat with you tomorrow. Bye-bye.